Welcome back to Klonoa, Empire of Dreams. So the boss area is blue because I beat him. That's all right. That's, that's the fun thing about this game is that I can I can just go back to the same stage and do it again. I'm doing another recording. See what happened was <clears throat> I did the boss fight and I forgot that I did the boss fight and uh, went off to the next stage where I totally just kind of I zonked out for a good couple minutes and then I zonked back in and just I was just goofy and I wasn't making any sense. And I started messing around with the game, like, way too much. I was like, oh, shit, I'm just gonna re-record it. Fuck it. For <laughs> forgetting all entirely that at the very beginning of that recording was this boss fight that I accomplished. So, welcome back to another re-recording. And here I am at this beautiful boss fight. Just so much fun. And I love it so much because of the timing. The timing that you can't predict, no matter how many times you play it, is so much fun. I love it so... I don't... I hate this. This is... This boss fight is not hard. It's just annoying. But I did it! So never mind. Fuck me. I did it. Alright, cool. And the fun thing about doing, uh boss fights in the beginning is that if I fuck up then I can do a recording all over again and not have to worry about wasting a lot of time no oh, his name's met him have you met him I met him I met him again this is the third time I'm meeting him all right doc whatever so Santel opened up <sighs> this is where <laughs> I it's kind of where I went off the rails is because of this part here it made me laugh so it's like what does everything every one of the monsters have in common red mist blue mist yellow mist oh my god that's the colors of the imperial flag and the twin moons we must go back to the castle because the culprits there how are we gonna get into the castle and it's like hey you Damn it, not again. Over here. <laughs> so I'm like, Shit, how do I get a new castle? Soldier, what? That way. Oh, thanks. Well, I guess uh, the soldiers, even though they work for the king, they don't want it to... Uh, they don't want it to be a place without dreams. Who wants a world without dreams? I know I don't. Although I would probably sleep a lot easier sometimes, but hey. It's never a win-win situation. Well, that's about it. I really don't... <laughs> I really don't want to go off the rails again and start just babbling about stupid crap because then I will... Probably have to re record all over again. And that boss fight is the most annoying out of it. And the fun thing about that boss fight is that's not the. That's not the last time you see that type of boss battle. The last boss in this entire game incorporates the many different fighting styles from all the other different bosses. So, you get to see it again. These blocks grab onto the little white and green boxes just to bring you back to this game that's about it there's nothing else special about this boxes so we're back at the castle here and I I know I say this a lot about the music but in this stage the most I really really love it because it has the it has the bells that just sound imperial 
and just sound really regal and I love the purple background and everything to show off royalty and, and whatnot. It's, God, I love this game. See if you can hear the bells. Hold on, wait. Right there. So yeah, there we go. Yay! New session. Look at that. It's not blue yet, because I didn't play it yet. Yeah, <laughs> I just, uh, I started, I started just going crazy and, and singing. I started making up lyrics and singing to the music. So, but I'm not gonna, okay, I'm done. I'm not doing this again. I'm not gonna talk about my previous recording again that I lost. So. I love food, so let's get to that. What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Or seen another person eat? I love Japanese food. I love Mexican food, but I really love Japanese food as well. And I want to go there one day. I love sushi. And I just, I love the culture. Um... With just uh, Ghibli cartoons or Ghibli movies, Ghibli Studio movies, and, uh, Dragon Ball Z, of course, when it came here in 1995. Not so much now, which is sad, I guess. I don't know. I just fell out of it. Like uh, The Simpsons and uh, South Park and all, you know, Family Guy. I just got old to me, to me, nothing wrong with anyone that watches them, nothing wrong with the shows themselves, to me, I just, I don't know, grew out of them, I have never even seen the Simpsons movie, and I don't, I don't want to, I don't plan on watching it, it's just who I am, I don't, uh, I don't let things like that bother me too much. You know, it's whatever. People are like, oh, you, you claim that you love good movies, but you don't like Napoleon Dynamite. I'm like, I didn't even watch past ten minutes of Napoleon Dynamite. I couldn't stand the movie. Uh, many movies out there that exist to this day. Like Badass and Badass 2 and Bad Santa 2 and uh, any Tyler Perry movie or whatever. Katy Perry movie or something, I just can't get into them, so I've, I've never watched them, I don't plan on watching them, which is pretty, it's cool, <laughs> it's fine, it, it's more rewarding waking up knowing that you just don't care, and it doesn't bother you, that's what makes me happy, well aside from making other people happy, that's what makes me happy. Wake it up knowing that I truly don't care. Or I care enough to not care. If that makes sense. Oh, I missed. Because I got it. Alright. My bad. I had it ready for the block that I have unlocked yet. There we go. Now, if you see me, like, leaving gems behind uh, in these later ones, is because... Remember that backtracking I was talking about? That's going to be happening a lot now. So, 
if I know I'm going back there, I'm just gonna leave the gems, cause... Well, even though it's not an optimal playthrough of this game, I still want to do it as fast as I can, cause... Like I said, I'm making my own fun here, and... It's just what I want to do. I really love... All types of music. And I feel that a lot of people say that... <coughs> excuse me. A lot of people say that a lot. Don't really mean it. And I kind of do. Because you always get people like, I love all types of music. But I really, really hate rap music. Or I hate country music. Or I hate gospel music. Or I hate Christian music. It's like... Then you don't really like all types of music. You like some types of music. I like all types of music. I love all types of music. I can't deny it. When I was a kid, I would. I would try to. You know, I'm not much of a religious person or what people would say a God-fearing person. And I don't go to church or read the Bible. And anyways, that's a different story. But yeah, it doesn't mean I can't like good music and there are a couple Christian songs that I listen to that just have a great sound to it. I'm not gonna deny that. I you know some people take it a little too seriously, but I feel like you know, all music lovers take things like that a little too seriously. I just I don't. <laughs> so yeah, uh Country music. I can claim that I don't like country music, but uh, my mom and dad grew up in the 40s, pretty much, and uh, so I got a taste of their music, which consists of like Merle Haggard and Waylon Jennings, and, and I love those music. Uh, George Jones, George Kranz, George Strait, all the Georges. I like their music, and it's technically country music, so I can't say I don't like country because I do. Do I like today's country? Not so much, but there is a huge difference between today's country and yesterday's country. Huge difference. But, doesn't mean I don't like it. <laughs> oh, there we go. See you guys later.